Hello you guys, here we are, part 4, the smart battery, uh, I'm just trying to assemble, to put this thing right here together, uh, I've reinstalled the BMS, uh, I have to be grateful to Dimitri from uh, St. Petersburg, Russia uh, my special thanks uh, also to Askold from uh, Kiev Ukraine these two guys uh, helped me a lot with this battery as uh, I'm specialized only in Twizy battery this one right here is new for me so uh, uh, the BMS got uh, dumped and bricked. How would you like to call it? I've uh, I've just got it the other day. I've uh, reinstalled it. I'm preparing everything right here. The diagnose the computer. I have the new battery on charge. Uh, I will have to reinstall uh, the sensor right here. Uh, I put it back together. I also used the, the gel because uh, I took off that to see the chip and to measure some pieces uh, inside there. The, the sensor at this point I think it's all functional. Uh, now uh, I will reinstall all this uh, brackets, all these uh, connections I've just uh, took off this, uh, these three brackets right here uh, to for more safety because right now we have three in the uh, three packs uh, so uh, we have lower voltage right there, I can touch it without, without damage to myself. Uh, reassembling it, I will use these gloves, as you know, high voltage. I will recheck all the connections before putting this all together. And uh, let's do this. So, got this just the way it was, uh, I will close uh, the, the upper side, but uh, first I did a little cleaning right here on the edges, you should clean those because uh, it's where the silicone sealing uh, will uh, close, so uh, you don't want to have any leftovers right here because uh, uh, we don't want nothing to go inside the water or something else so you should be careful about uh, cleaning these edges you should clean the silicone ceiling right here on this piece the one right here on this one as you can see there's a silicone uh, sealing here. Okay, then we have another one here. Then we have another one that goes all around the battery's upper side that will close right here on these edges. I will use silicone oil on all these ceilings right here and uh, we'll put it back together just, just the way it was. Okay, all closed, just the way it should be. This is a 20,000 kilometers battery. Looks good. Sure hope work will work good. <laughs> I had uh, quite a lot of bolts right there uh, in the other video I explained the exact number someone asked uh, for the 
the size of this battery you have a post right there on my channel where where you can find the exact size of this battery and uh, right now uh, I will put it back on the car I will connect the, the little 12 volts battery after all the connections are made I will put back the intelligent fuse right there squeeze it back in here just the way it was and uh, uh, after turning on the key the first thing I the first uh, thing I will do is uh, diagnose I sure hope that red sign the, the 12 volts battery sign won't come up uh, I'm pretty sure that that uh, it has to do something so I think the the 12 volts uh, red battery sign I have on the dashboard I had on the dashboard first has something to do with uh, the exchange uh, between uh, the big battery and the little battery with the current exchange uh, I think the little battery is not draining anymore current from the big battery so uh, I think that's why uh, as soon as I turn on the key I get the, the, the battery sign the, the 12 volts battery sign because it's not receiving any electricity so let's go forward so just started the diagnose I don't have the usual red battery sign right there that means the little battery receives electricity from the big battery I'm doing a quick test right here everything looks pretty normal I'm having a little noise down there I think it's from the cooling pump right now it doesn't have any liquid okay so here you are everything's green diagnose okay I will try and start it right now let's see if it works Okay, so I will leave you with the powertrain and I will try to start the car. Okay, everything looks fine. I will try the charge right now, but until now we're okay. Okay, so just plugged in the car. Green light right there lets me know everything's okay. I will let it balance that cell as you remember I have one cell that that was over the edge about 100 uh, more than 100 millivolts of uh, energy of less energy so I will leave it that way so it can charge and balance well the cells so uh, I could say part 4 was a success. Thank you again guys.